For this fight, I recommend sticking near the middle of the stage where you can do the most damage. When the devil uses his arm attack, you want to jump away from the middle of the stage and then dash back towards the middle. This way you'll have plenty of time to avoid the arms. If the devil uses the bubble projectiles, try to stick near the middle of the stage because they usually fly towards the outside of the stage after they spawn. For his fireball attack, head to the side of the stage so you can guide them to the corner and more easily dodge them. The spider attack is pretty easy to avoid. It doesn't seem like the spider tracks your movement so I recommend mostly just standing in place and using dashes when necessary. If he does a spinning fire attack, counter the middle pink flame right away. Then jump and dash through the flames to avoid them. When he uses his serpent attack, just run all the way to the opposite end of the screen. If you get super unlucky, there will be a demon there which is unavoidable. Stay clear of the middle of the screen when he removes his skin to avoid the skeleton. Use your super attack right away during the second phase. The axe moves in progressively larger circles so it's easy to track. Most of the time you want to be on the middle platform except for when the axe spawns. Parry the pink bomb as soon as it comes out so it doesn't explode. For the third phase, get as many hits on the boss as you can before jumping to the left platform to shoot the purple demon when it spawns. Use your super attack right away to take care of the other demon if you can. It's really helpful to use your dash to avoid the flying bats. When he starts crying, shoot his eyes while jumping around the poker chips. Do your best to pay attention to his tears because they can hurt you too. Alright, and that's a boss. Thanks for watching and see you next time.